Hey there guys, I'm Dengs564 and this continuation for Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. I shall. So, we actually made a rest here, yeah. Uh, we rem I remember there are like three guys here. So, uh, the sh sh Shades or whatever they are. Uh, let me check. The Shadow. So, from what I understand they have small reduction to they're mostly vulnerable to fire, so that's useful. We fought, we fought them quite long enough to realize that, I guess. Uh, so there were three of them there, and I think I'll actually leave them to. Oh, there's one. Okay, never mind. Attack. Uh, we'll leave them till we actually found the remains of the guys. Oh, mm. right, you change to... You know, you know what? Let's attack you. Oh, yeah, and one more thing I realized is that this guy's armor is uh, better. It has uh, pierce proof, so it's additional three damage reduction and second chance. I don't know what second chance is, but it sounds like it feels... Uh, if he falls down, he can actually, uh, you know. Ah, I can't can't equip him or uh, during the combat. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So yeah. He has quite a. The shadows has have quite a high deflection and protection. So my character can't actually hit him all that ba all that good, but that's not like that bad. So we're real uh, relatively good. So I'll actually equip. Oh no, not not on him, but on him. Uh, the Saint's War Armor, and I will give him a minor ring of ring of deflection, so he'll be def able to deflect more which for a tank is really good. So now he has more damage yes. capabilities and I he's shall. better protected overall, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Shh. Okay, let's let's move towards this area first. I want to explore this corridor before I actually proceed. Okay. Uh before we'll actually open any doors, I'll uh, move here. We'll see what this area holds. So we're in this uh, basement of this Athorsian church, uh, cathedral even, uh, to find the remains of Athorsian priests who were killed here by the lord of the of these lands, because he think it's he thinks it's. Uh, well, this religion is bad, <laughs> I guess. Well, that's oversimplification, but that's what I take from it. There was a rebellion and yada yada, and now... Okay, we have a sh only one shadow here. If it's only one, we can take it easily. Yes. By the way, I'll change it. Yeah. I'll mm? change you to this. Mm? I shall. No, there's, there's at least four. Never mind. But there's actually some stuff here, so we might return later, but not now. Okay, there's might be something here. Looks like that's some kind of shrine or something. Maybe. No. Wait. Shadows. Hmm. Do I engage them now or? Because I'm pretty sure there might be something useful here, but, but he, it's hidden. So I'll actually return here later. I'll just explore for now, as much as I can. And if okay, we need mechanics four plus. 
five lockpicks or five ma okay can we five lockpicks huh how many do we have we have three okay well good to know in case uh, we'll decide to return here later or it might be connected through here and that's just simply an easier way into the I'm here how's my well we have quite a level uh, hmm? quite a long way from level up okay let's proceed carefully inside was this a phantom okay this looks like some sort of a place where the priests might be but then again the place with the sar sarcophagi could be one as well so you know what Let's actually go first and kill the other guys with the sarcophagi. And then we'll return here. Or, first of all, let's clear out this area. Because I'm pretty sure it's some kind of altar or something. I don't know. I'll see what I can find. There might be the remains somewhere in here. And we'll see what we can do about that. We'll try to use our... Uh, I'm here. Wall of Flames, I think they're called. Spells. More. And. Uh, Charge! No. Nope. Hmm? Not like that. I'll one. Okay, they're coming. This shadow has something hmm? in store for us, like some kind of spell or something. How may I help? Okay. You guys, yes. Move here. You uh, move here. Yes. Try using your fan of flames. Yes. Does it still hit? No, it's not hitting. Okay, like this should be good enough. How may I help? And you use your fan of flames as well. Um, okay, we'll have to move a bit closer, I guess. Somewhere like here-ish. And then we'll have to use our Fan of Flames. Yep, that's good. Yeah, Fan of Flames actually really, really potent again, those guys. Hey. Look at his. What's this? Keeping an eye out. I wonder what. I shall. I shall. Let's move as a, as a group. Will it drain the water? Yes, it will. Huh. Oh, by the way, I read some stuff here in the in the journal, and I think yes. Eloth here has an awakened soul. Indeed. Because he can remember the stuff from his, you know, like his uh, multiple personality disorder or something. So I think it's Awakened Soul and not like he's crazy. So we have more in common with him than bef I even previously expected. What's this? Lesser Black Goose. We should be able to take it easily unless there's something else here. A couple of them. We already fought them. They're not that hard. Okay. Easily defeat them. Uh, 
this one, this looks like uh, at least some sort of a remain. Let's just pick it up here. Oh, a key. I bet you it's from that door. Yep. Okay. Let's go inside. I'll see what I can find. Carefully. Or as carefully as possible. Okay, one shadow. Other more of them here. I wonder. Well, we can't see anything from here. So, might as well attack this guy. Looks like there's, uh, he's alone here. Okay. Can we knock him down? I don't think we can knock down the shadows. Yes. Um. How may I help? You know what? I'll have to move you somewhere here, and I'll have to use fan of flames. Okay, that hits him, right? I don't think it hit him. Hi. Okay, move away. Yeah, he's dead. Well, wor was worth the risk, I guess. We'll not heal for now. Uh, rest for now. We'll wait a bit more. Damn it! Stop doing that. It's really annoying. You know what? Mm -hmm. Let's move. And restore our health. It's not wor working. Uh. Okay, I guess I'll have to use my more of my spells on him. Okay, good. Unfortunately, we used two spells mm. on this one dude, which isn't great. The better part of valor. I would actually prefer not to waste so many spells on him. Okay, this looks like a shrine, or if I have ever seen one. Or at least entrance to one. Okay, lesser black oozes, I'm not too concerned Charge! about them. But this damn shadows... Okay. When, uh, when it yes. approaches, we'll have to... Actually, kind of flame it, and if we can uh, get more of the stuffs in uh, in the process, we'll definitely do, do that. Damn it! Didn't work. Hi. Okay. I think we, no, it didn't. Yes. I think we'll have to do it once more, and soon after we'll have to take a rest. Well, yes. you, you'll use a fan of flames on these guys as well. Come on. Son mm. of a... No, you know what? Uh, just wait. Okay, that will work. Fine, you f you know what? You attack this guy. Why did I miss? I, I shouldn't have missed. Yes. Really? Okay. It looks like we'll not be hitting ourselves when we're in this yellow area, so that's I'm something. Here. Let's move away from here. Ooh, that was good. Hit! Yes. But we just spent way too many spells for just like this little fight. We'll have to rest. 
quite soon. Oh, that necrotic lance damage was quite something. Are you attacking this guy? Okay. Good enough, I guess. As good as I could possibly do. Hmm? Well, I probably could have done it better, but... I didn't. <laughs> uh, well, okay, let's let's move a bit further till we actually reach our next uh, opponent or something. Then we we'll might return back and oh, there's something here. A lever, but it's definitely not like a secret lever. Okay, there are some, some remains here. You know what, I'll actually... I'll make camp where you're beat up and we don't have much spells, so... You wake to the sensation of being shaken. You open... Uh, and you open your eyes to see Edder staring over you, standing over you, his hands jostling your shoulder. He looks concerned. You are, your eyes are heavy and your vision blurred. The vague un unease of unremembered uh, nightmares clouding your thoughts. You are not sure you slept... Uh, you, you are not sure you slept at all uh, the previous night. Hey. Hey. You're awake? Good. You were uh, kind of thrashing around. Eyes rolled back in your head. You were shaking. I'm going to snap you out of it for a long time now. I'm just going to have to get a bucket of cold water. You, uh, you don't seem like you get much rest at night. You got those dark circles under your eyes. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with I, I get enough to get by. It's the watcher thing, man. I'm sure it just takes some time to adjust is all. Try to let it sort itself out. You better wake up faster next time. Trust me, you don't want that bucket of cold water. Okay. Shh. Let's go inside. There's definitely something here. Okay, let's talk to it. The light rises from the bones as you approach. You have a moment to re register the faintest image of a standing figure. Features a blur of mist or smoke uh, before the wall tilts. It is as if you have stepped sideways and into, your new, into, into a new life. You are racing down a flight of stairs, following a weaving circle of torchlight. Uh, your own panting breath are loud in your ears. Panic and... Panic and your ropes alike fold your steps and you nearly stumble before a hand of reaches out to grip a, your arm and steady you a fellow acolyte who smiles in encouragement as you reach the bottom you run around the pass and past the shallow reflection of reflection pool that marks the slowest point the lowest point of the temple following the dark shapes of the older priests as they lead the way towards the narrow hole that leads leads to the vault. You pass one of the torch bearers as you go. I think it's... Uh, we already had some... either vision or a letter. Yeah, we had a vision where one was running away and was uh, being late, so I think it's him. One of the acolytes, I mean. The harsh illumination of the fl uh, f flames reveals a fami familiar face. For a moment your awareness spans time and identity and you think Wirtan has joined you at the bottom of the temple. In the memory he glances at you for a moment and that looks past at someone else. I'll come back once they, they're gone, he's saying. You're being pressed along by the crowd and his words are growing faint. 
Just keep quiet, we can't take any chances. Inside the vault, golden relics gleam uh, like welcoming stars. The memory twist jarring you loose from one movement and plunging you into the, another like flung doll. There is some darkness around you. You think yourself blinded until the knowledge settles onto you like a cold cloak. The candle has all burnt away. You know, you know now too with a sick certainty that nobody is coming. There is a cracking noise somewhere to your left, a wet slurping gurgle and a ra ragged sob. You know you cannot see and you cannot know which brother or sister has fallen, and which digs after after what water a body may provide. You hear in a faint murmuring to your right the familiar cadence of prayer, but you no longer recognize the words. You are too tired to do harm. The thirst, the thirst is like fire within you. Your tongue is thick with, in your throat, and every breath you struggle. That leeches strength from you. There is a light, they said, at the end of every bout of darkness, but this one does not end. The spirit releases you, and you come back to your to yourself in pieces. Your vision clears, and the vault around you is revealed once more cast in muted use by the sickly illumination of soul still drifting like a fading fog. Fear wafts off the spirit in waves, fraying at your own emotions. Uh, did they, like, make human sacrifices in this temple or something? Or were they trying to summon something? Mm. Let's try to be benevolent to the spirit. I'm sorry, I hope you'll find a piece in, some peace in the next life. The spirit seems to withdraw it into himself, you see. You sense less of its fear and confusion as it recedes, but its soul, soul lingers still. Uh, no matter how many times I see you staring off at nothingness, it doesn't get less weird. Okay, get the remains. You spend a few moments gathering up what you can find of the bones of the priests, it proves a, a heavy and gruesome burden, but you manage to recover all of them. Or was it, or was it some sort of a, you know, uh, some sort of a trap for them by the, uh, what's it called? I shall be discreet. By that Lord R R Roderick or whatever his name was. Probably. What do we have here? A flail, one handed. Convert grades to hits, 30%. Oh, that's good. Draining 20% of damage. Oh, 20% of damage restored to endurance, and it's fine. Uh, that's a good weapon. And we have a pry bar. Well, we'll take a pry bar, and this weapon will go to you, my dear friend. Uh, I think he already has a fine sword, but not as fine as this one. Right? It, this one's just fine, and this one is uh, has much more stuff going for it. <laughs> and it's fast as well. Like it has uh, less damage. But it, it's fast. Mm. Yeah, I think I like it better. Plus, it can convert grazes to hits and draining. So, yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, let's continue explore here a bit. We still have one more uh, camp. So, I'll proceed to this area here. We already completed the mission, so we might as well explore a bit more. Maybe there are some treasures here. Oh, there is a whelp here. Is it only a one whelp? Oh, a 
and there's a key. That's interesting. Let's save here, and we'll try to actually engage them. Yes. Hmm. Uh, well, you go ahead and attack him. Yes. Okay, I think he spotted us. Hmm. Let's try to focus, him, fire him with uh, magic missiles first, and then yes. we'll get a bit closer and uh, use a fan of flames on him. Well, that did quite a lot of damage, but still, it's not good enough. Okay, let's spread out our guys a bit here. Hey. Quite a lot of damage. Okay, you guys can start using Fan of Flames. Can you hit all of them? Not from here, but if you'll move a bit further back, or like here instead, here as well. Okay, should be good enough. Okay, that's good enough as well. Hey. Okay, let's try using this to at least somehow protect him. And um, Karate Lance on this guy. You should. Can you use this on? Uh, no, you can use it only on yourself. Okay, mm. then... Never mind, just use magic missiles. And you're doing necrotic plans, right? Okay, he's down, so... I want to actually try to do it again. Okay, he's... is he dead? Yes, he's dead, good. We almost lost our tank there. It might have been dangerous here Indeed. for a second, but it was all fine and good. I wonder where this leads. It doesn't look like it leads anywhere. Oh, it leads somewhere. Uh, yes, let's go and check it out. I think if someone is called King, it's definitely guarding something somewhere. Looks like some kind of inner sanctum or something. As you step over the circle of candles, you hear a rattling clunk of some, from some walls nearby. A door slides open with a grinding rasp of stone. Damn it! Let's keep going. Indeed. Oh, it's an exit. Whew. Good. The candles flicker gently as you approach. There is a gap above the, the altar, lined with broken glass, where a mirror may once have been set into the wall. The candles are still burning. Not bad for a dead god. Uh, what's this all for? Redemption. They got this whole right of when you come come of age, they take you by the hand and you did descend through the temple which your eyes with your eyes covered and that's supposed to be like wicked life. They don't tell you where you are going as I was sweating like crazy when I did mine. They take you to that reflecting pool back there and you're allowed to look at at it so you can face your sins. Then you come out into the room and they uncover your eyes again and everyone there to greet you. All your friends and family. And it, it's like you've been redeemed. You light your candle and it burns with the others. Never had a feeling better than that my whole life. Candles are still burning. Uh, well, I guess leaf will will not be like total complete douchebags, especially with the uh, the representative of the faith of said faith. 
somewhere here. Mm, do I want to return to those sar sarcophagi? How many spells do I have? How may I help? Well, at least some. Hmm? Yes, um, there might be something useful there. And uh, and from a character standpoint, I'll uh, he'll probably be greedy. Right? There definitely some stuff here. Maybe not here. I'll definitely will not go here. But there's something here. And uh, there was something here as well. This sarcophagi interests me more than anything. So I think I'll go and visit this place before I actually leave. But I'll leave it in the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, see you next time. Goodbye.